Hello everyone, this is a frugal engineer. Welcome to this Arduino tutorial. During this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the HCSR04 ultrasonic distance sensor. It is a really useful sensor if you want to work on advanced projects, like for example building a robot. It's also quite cheap and easy to use. During this video, I will also show you how you can send the results to your PC and display them in a nice chart using a Windows Form.NET project in C Sharp. Of course, as always on my videos, you will find the source code and diagrams in the description of the video. I have the idea to use what I learned while working on this project to build a small radar, using a servo to move the ultrasonic sensor and sending the results to an Android app or to a C Sharp program. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. I love programming and electronics and I try to upload interesting tutorials as often as possible. Ok, so let's review now the integration diagram. As you can see, it's quite simple. And the good thing is that we don't need to use any resistors to build this diagram. Uh, the BCC pin will go connected to the 5 volts in the Arduino. The ground pin will go connected to the ground a pin in the Arduino and then we have the trigger pin that goes connected to the digital pin number 11 from the Arduino and then the echo pin that goes connected to the digital pin number 10 of the Arduino. Really simple diagram. Ok, so let's review now the source code of the Arduino program. You will see in a moment that it's quite simple. There are actually two ways you can calculate the um, measurements and use the sensor. The first one is you can do your own calculation yourself without using any external library. Um, it's quite easy as well, however in my example I installed the new pin library. It's really easy to install, just go to the include libraries, manage libraries. Just wait well, a couple of seconds while it loads. And then here, just search for the new pin. It's taking a couple of seconds and then just install the version. And you will be able then to use the new pin library. First thing we do is to define a series of global constants. Then we create the sonar variable where we pass the trigger pin, the echo pin and the max distance that we are going to measure. Uh, then in the setup function what I do is I initialize the serial bus so I can send then the recordings and the measurements to the to my PC and then in the loop function uh, what I do here is I take as many as many uh, measurements as uh, defined in this variable and then I just calculate the average and bring the result here on the serial bus. I do this to have more precise measurements. You will see now during the demo that sometimes you get really weird uh, measurements, uh, probably because I move the object too fast, uh, but this allow me to have more precise measurements. Of course, you will find this code on the description of the video below. Okay, let's jump now to the first part of the demo. I'm just going to read the results from the serial console of the Arduino IDA. You can see how the rhythms change when I move the folder. It's not the most precise sensor out there, but should be sufficient for all projects. Before we finish, I want to show you the simple Windows Form.NET project in C Sharp that I have developed. I read the values in real time from the Arduino and display them in a nice chart. Let me show you how it works. First, we input the number of readings we want to measure and we just click update. We have a loading bar that will show the distance from 0 to 100 cm. We have a chart where I will keep the historical information. The vertical X is the distance in centimeters and the horizontal X indicates the number of readings we have done. We also have a text field where I show the distance. Remember that I always upload my code to GitHub, so feel free to check the description of the video and get my source code. If you are interested, I can do a video in the future explaining how I developed this program. But I already have a couple of videos in my channel where I explain how you can create your own CSR form program. I will leave the links in the description below. Well, this is everything I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked this video. Please 
press the like button if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. I'm new to YouTube and your feedback is a really good motivation to continue. I would also like to tell you that I created a Discord server where you can reach out if you have any questions or you can just leave a comment in this video. Thank you so much for watching, until the next video.